Item number, SCP-669. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-669 is to be kept on Site-19. Any personnel to be granted access to SCP-669 must have completed a training session led by an individual with two 669 clearance. Following Incident 669-1, SCP-669 is to be encased in a Faraday cage vessel, consisting of a grounded copper shell and slotted alumina inserts, holding the item in place. SCP-669 is to be removed from containing vessel only in designated testing area, so as not to interfere with Site-19 electronics. Description SCP-669 is a sphere of radius 2.6 centimeters, resembling a large bearing. When inactive, SCP-669 weighs approximately 560 grams. The surface of SCP-669 contains numerous sites of corrosion and pitting, as well as remains of a cadmium blue paint. The surface temperature of SCP-669 appears to vary between 32.1 and 33.8 degrees Celsius. This appears independent of the temperature and thermal conductivity of its surroundings. The composition of SCP-669 is currently unknown. The surface of SCP-669 indicates its composition to be mild carbon steel. However, its density, as well as inertia testing data, suggests a non-uniform internal structure. SCP-669 activates when placed within 54 centimeters of any object larger than itself and set into motion. While active, SCP-669 appears to lack gravitational mass. Instead, it describes an orbit around the object at one of a set of distances up to 54 centimeters from the object's surface. Note. SCP-669 always orbits at one of a set of four to nine discrete distances, located in the range of zero centimeters to 54 centimeters. However, the precise values vary with every activation. Collisions with an object larger than itself cause SCP-669 to relocate into orbit around the colliding object. If SCP-669 is exposed to a suitable light source of sufficient brightness, See Experiment Log 669. It proceeds to move into the next further orbit. If no such orbit exists, SCP-669 will either deactivate or proceed to fly at a tangent to its original orbit until colliding with another suitable object. Pushing SCP-669 into an orbit closer to an object it orbits requires a force of approximately 50 newtons and is accompanied by a brief photoemission of seemingly random frequency from SCP-669's surface. Recovery Log SCP-669 was recovered from the Depository of Istanbul Modern Art Museum on April 4th, 1950, having been previously exposed in the annual Current Eastern European Sculpture Retrospective as part of an exhibit titled Rutherfordian Adam, A Didactic Perspective. Note: Visual records recovered indicate that the exhibit contained further instances of SCP-669, as well as an agglomeration of at least similar objects, none of which were recovered. SCP-669 was not listed in that exhibition's catalog, and neither its purported artist, 1GP, nor Lomonosov Makarenko Institute for Scientific and Political Education appear to figure in any official records. Incident 669-1 On 1960 During the course of an experiment led by researcher Arnold Shiner, SCP-669 deactivated after a minor collision. Within 15 seconds of reactivation, SCP-669 suddenly developed an electric field sufficient to strip electrons from objects within a radius of approximately half a meter, resulting in the death of researcher Shiner and extensive damage to electronic devices in the laboratory and adjacent areas. Containment procedures updated. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, 
Go watch SCP-668, 13-inch chef's knife, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.